Condition propagation allows you to assign variant conditions outside the variant blocks to connecting blocks for improved performance. Condition propagation is available on variant subsystems and variant source and sync blocks. In the case of variant subsystem blocks, you must specify that you want condition propagation to be turned on. But in the case of variant source and sync blocks, condition propagation is done automatically. Some of the blocks connected to the variant source block in this example are grayed out. Let's turn on variant annotation and see the variant annotation legend by going to the display menu under blocks and turning on the choices. There we see that the gain and input blocks attached to the variant source blocks have the condition associated with the variant source block being associated with the blocks attached to it. And since vendor is equal to 1, those blocks with the condition vendor is equal to 2 are now inactive and won't be considered during simulation. Condition propagation is not being done right now outside the variant subsystem. However, we can change that by going to the block parameters and choosing to propagate conditions outside the variant subsystem. Once we choose this and compile the model, we can see that conditions are being propagated outside of the subsystem as well. The benefit of doing this is that inactive blocks in the model are not considered or run during simulation, which can improve performance, particularly in large models. As you can imagine, as in this model, it helps if you're not reading from unnecessary sensors and not doing unnecessary calculations. Condition propagation, available in variant source and sync blocks and variant subsystems, can be an important way to improve your performance, especially if you're using variants in your model.